Today, I want to talk about the importance of the catch of a pigtail or a connector. So when you have your connector, this is a Z27C2. The first thing you need to do when you need to do a quick D-pin or repin is take the front face off. And the important thing is you want to be really careful to do that because if, you, if you're not careful or if you're in a hurry and you're too rough, you could easily break these little housings and these plastic catches. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a proper tool like so. These are um, what I call tech tools. We sell them on our website and they're extremely convenient to do a deep pin repin and to really fit into these small places like you see here. I just take my tool while holding the pigtail in my other hand and it's so tiny that you can easily squeeze it in at the bottom of that green housing and then just gently pry it up. And if you hear that click, it just clicks up perfectly and there's literally zero damage. It's because these tools are high quality with strength, but at the same time, they're small. So you can be cautious with them, but you don't have to be necessarily extra cautious. And once I have it off, you can see the catches of the pigtail front and center. And what I mean by catches are going to be these little small plastic holders right on the side of the connector. Now it's important to have a small tool like this because in order to release the pins, you have to have a tool small enough to get in there and gently pry up while releasing the wires from the back at the same time. So it's kind of hard. You might want to have the connector down and as you're holding it in one hand, you're prying this catch up while at the same time you're pulling the wires out and back. That's how you're going to get the pins out without damaging the connector. But it's so important to have a tool just like this that gives you easy access to release that catch.